Signing a paper where it says that the husband issued a three talaq, it is affected 301. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Even if it's a three or the one or 100, if it is being signed on the paper uh, that the husband is uh, issuing the three divorces at one time and the wife signed it, is that affected three or the one? Well, again, there comes there are many, many uh conditions on that there's a different rules sh uh, from sharia than the government because the government could do anything paperwork is, is the documentation that something different but when it comes to the sharia uh it, this is something dream sharia means when it comes to into the eyes of allah if is that affected now uh, before answering that question the person has to know that uh was she, when at the time of the signing was she in a has in her period and also they from the when she get period uh from the last period between uh of uh between the time of till the the divorce is being issued between that they have any sexual intercourse and uh, you have to know this condition many some of the scholars they accept it to be effective some of the scholars affected as a bidah and the bidah is not accepted into my opinion i would not accept that because we have a clear hadith when the uh when um one of the sahaba prophet came to the prophet sallallahu he divorced her because she was in her previous and the prophet sallallahu said go take her back so many of them take this hadith into the different divisions some someone would say that taking her back means it was affected now she can keep it until she get pure and think to she uh, if he wants to keep her or not now that there's another group who would say that this is not affected at all so i'm uh i would accept this opinion from the hadith where they take her back and wait until she get pure so now this is a very clear evidence where they say take her back and wait until she pure then you can decide if she gets pure to keep her or you don't want to keep her because rather if it was affected then the prophet would have told him then you have to complete your at that time but rather the prophet said to wait until she gets pure and then you decide to divorce her or don't divorce her so this is very logical a very clear interpretation from the hadith when the prophet said wait until she get pure because if that divorce was being affected then the prophet wouldn't have told the sahaba to wait until she get her but rather the prophet would have told uh the sahaba let her uh let her complete her at the time and then you can decide to do a roju or you can take her back but right the prophet told him to wait until she get pure then he can decide to keep her or you can uh divorce her so but in the cases of the papers so the same rules apply into the eyes of the government is something different but into the eyes of the the sharia what is in the eyes of allah because in the eyes of quran in the eyes of hadith if that was being affected or not affected so we have to go to there is question here we have to analyze the situation from the period from the last period uh, status up till the time between the time of the the divorce was she in her periods or was uh, uh, they have a sexual intercourse and what's going on and there was an extreme anger and what's going on so we cannot analyze that we cannot just come to the conclusion okay that that was being affected so now for example all the conditions are being met if all the conditions they do not have a sexual intercourse and uh, the man is mentally fine and uh, she was not in her period none that divorce is affected now if the if the paper says that that the divorce is being three times affected but it is not affected by three times it is affected only one time by signing the paper because according to the government of pakistan india or maybe some muslim countries they have a different laws but into the sharia they have a lot of conflicts between the real sharia and the sect of islam they are being distorting the islam they are being uh distorting the real sharia of the islam because uh, they have to go through all the questionnaires analyzing all that bringing the scholars and then come, come, come to the con con uh, conclusion if that was affected one or affected or was it a three affected because even if it's a three it is affected as, as a one because in surah bakara it says talaq maratan because talaq is a two time that means you have a chances of two times so quran says you have a chance of two times but what if if someone says okay three times but the Quran says two times different, different at the different occasion. So the Quran says at the different occasion. But uh, particular 
group scholar would say, okay, no, that's fine, it is being accepted. So that's contradicting the Quran because the Quran says you have a two chance, that means you have to two chance two times that the light is affected. If you do it three third time also, that is no longer our uh, relation is being halal anymore. So this is the same situation here. If it's the three or if it is a one, it is affected as as a one.